Welcome to a briefing by Johns Hopkins University in Medicine about mRNA. mRNAs are now being explored to do other interventions, including the treatment of cancer, metabolic and genetic disorders, cardiovascular diseases, and other rare genetic disorders. And so it goes well beyond the use of just in vaccine. The investment by the NIH of the past three to four decades in understanding cancer biology has really led to a time where we are just in an unprecedented period where we are developing treatments that are actually saving lives. We're looking at medicine in a molecular way where it's very precise and going to the root of the disease to go to the right cells, to deliver the right instructions, to then create a whole paradigm of healing in the body. And now we're at the precipice of this new era in medicine where it's genetic molecular medicine. Being able to activate the immune system is really the biggest advance we've had in this field since cancer was ever diagnosed, you know, hundreds of years ago. Patients are living longer, much longer. Some are cured of their diseases because of these treatments. It's a really exciting time, and we certainly don't want to be slamming on the brakes when there's so many patients whose lives are at risk that we can help in the near future. But despite the promise of this technology and in continuing the investment in this science, we're risking squandering our leadership in the mRNA space in the 21st century. Is America going to continue to be a world leader in biomedical research and medicine? Are we going to continue to create the cures that save the lives of millions of Americans, create high paying jobs in biotech and in medicine? Are we going to cede our preeminence to someone else?